Hey guys. I hope your weekend is going very well. Um, we're looking at Eve today and some more level fours. So everybody will recognize this ship, those who have seen uh, other um, other videos of mine. The Tango, my favorite ship. Um, it's basically the same fit as I usually have. Obviously it changes depending on the mission. So let's have a quick look at what my agent has got to offer me so oh anomic team sweet we do that in a gamma um just have a quick look at this this is anomic this is the only anomic that you will do or that i do anyway i mean you might do others but this is the only one i can do um it's worth nearly 13,000 loyalty points, 2.8 million ISK, and then 2.2 .2 bonus reward. That's not bad. Uh, some Visto, so I can't remember where that is, but hey. Let's just move those. I don't know why everything's all over the place. Um, so let's just change ships. We won't be doing it in Tango. We'll be doing it in the Gamma. And it's a Hawk. So any of those, any of you guys remember what the uh, fitted, well, not fitted, but it's really just the ammo. So let's have a look. The Hawk, it's a 20 kilometer range, which is on three of them. There's four ships, Jaguar, Vengeance, Hawk, and Enyo. On the Vengeance, Hawk, and Enyo, it's 20 kilometers uh, orbit with your micro warp drive on. The Jaguar is 26. So the Hawk is 20 kilometers and you're using to kill the two uh, Lodger ships with it. You're using uh, Navy Molyneux ACM and then to kill the Hawk itself you're using Molyneux Rage so blue blue um, just slight difference obviously on the ammo so let's um, so Molyneux Navy Molyneux so let's just get that changed now yeah so I think it was a, a javelin. Um, I think it was a hawk we did last time. That's why the mol uh, rage was in there. Okay, excuse me. Long night last night. So let's accept that. And let's undock and go and do it. a nice it's a very quick one and it's a very nice juicy one as well I mean the gamma a speed tank there's no tank on it other than its speed tank you are relying on that and of course you're relying on the um, the guidance computers I don't know why, I don't think you can fit Tech 2 on there, I think it pushes it over the limit on its CPU. That's no big deal, I mean your range on the missiles now is 36 kilometers. That's all they do is extend the uh, the range on the, on the missiles. Okay. 
not a bad looking ship, the Gamma. It's one of the new style looking things. I mean, for years we lived with Caracals, Drake, well, not even Drake's, Caracals. Um, yeah, Caracals, I used to fly this Cerberus a lot, the Tech 2 version of the Caracal. And Ravens, used to do mission after mission in Ravens, just, you know, sniping Ravens. Takes you so long in a raven. And you waste quite a bit of ammo as well. Okay. Okay, one more jump to go. Drive active. Yeah. I mean, the whole mission usually takes about uh, 10 minutes, not that. Once you land on them, five minutes. Takes us longer to get there. Okay. Let's warp to the location. Let's put our computers on. And away we go. Is that 20? Ooh. Get that afterburner uh, micro drive on quick. Let's lock the hawk. Lock all three. And let's start killing those phantoms. Sound like machine guns do enough. Because they're little tiddlers. So you get the bantam, first bantam goes, that's it, the other one out rep itself, so it uh, it goes down pretty quick, and of course the hawk can't do any of that, it relies on the lodges to keep it alive. But you have to do it in this sequence. Phantoms first, kill them both, then the hawk. So don't forget when you've killed both phantoms, put your ammo to uh, Monia Rage, Rage, and uh, kill it. has been known to drop decent loot. I think I got a hardener, out, a faction hardener out of it, not a faction. What was it, a faction? I think it was a dead space hardener, I think. There we go. He's nearly dead. There you go, he goes down. Let's get the Bantam. Yeah. 
It will go pretty quick. It done a standard chance, Captain. go let's change to rage there we go must remember to get some more ammo let's take a look at this one. Oh, he's shooting but we're just out of his range ouch You can see his missiles just disappearing there. And he go bang. Let's have a look at the wreck. Come on. <clears throat> and there's bugger all in it. I might just take that, but everything else, yeah, rubbish. So let's go back home. Tell us, tell her we've done it and collect our pennies, our hard-earned pennies. Hmm. Yeah. That's a nice short um, mission, and it's the best payout. If you're in, if you're in, uh, in Nullsec, I think you get about the same, but the, no, I think you get a bit more, but these other missions, you get a lot more loyalty points and money from the, the ones where I would get maybe four, four thousand five hundred, you might get double that, um, yeah. I can't remember, it's been a long time since I did uh, level 4s. But it was very easy to get. Uh, I got a few um, Cinnable blueprints, I just bought them and sold them. And then I got a few Cinnables, sold those. You know, with the loyalty points. Can be very lucrative, but at the end of the day, it's you know, do you want to do level fours all your life? It's it's only a certain amount you can do. I do like to vary things though, but um, yeah, we'll see. I may even go back to Nullsec. Okay, no more cat, here we come. Warp drive active.
Okay, get to the station. Warp drive active. Let's see what other uh, mission shall offer us. Offer us. Where's my money? Completed mission. Excellent. Okay, see what else she offers us. Pirate slaughter, it's Garistas. Um, we have done this one before. We'll accept it and we'll change ships. It's Garistas, so it's kinetic and thermal. Let's get into the Tengu. Yeah, and it's in this system as well, that's good. Right, we need to just swap out the two. Oops. Do it every single time. Without fail. So, two kinetic and one thermal, and that should give us there you go, 91 and 83. That's that's absolutely fine. Uh, we've got enough ammo, we just looked, didn't we? Uh, six. Three. That should be... Let's just put a little bit more. I like to be on top of it if I can. Rage. I'll we'll put two and a half in. That'll be fine. Yep, yeah, that's more than fine. So we'll do this. It's in the system. We've accepted it. Yep. Yeah. Let's undock and go and kick some ass. Might as well put hardness on now and the computer because we're staying in system. 75 in the magazine, that's good. Let's walk to the Dead Space Encounter. I do like the look of the Tengu. It's a cracking ship. Always has been. Can you tell I like it? <laughs> oh, come on, girl. I mean, she's cap stable. Got an awesome tank on her. She can handle. Oh, seriously? She can handle anything you throw at her. Let's all be that 1000. There's no lights as yet, but I think they will come later. So, as soon I'm going to pop these as soon as I've logged them. These will die. Just one volley. Alright, we'll have uh, another spawn in a minute. And it's the big one. This, this, there you go. It's the big one that's jamming. 
coffee and jammed by pithilim, uh, pith eliminator. So I'm locking the tiddlers up. And this big boy is going to die very quickly. And he's gone already. Let's get rep in the shield. One of these now is scramming me. They lock up some of these big boys. There you go. He was. He was scramming. Let's get rid of this little one. Tiny. And he's dead already. Sweet. There you go, look, with another spawn now. <laughs> Gonna go down pretty quick. There you go. Kaboom. Right, let's work on these two as they're burning towards me. Because that will be... Just, they'll have no transversal. But they'll be easier to kill as they're making their way towards me. As you can see, they are burning straight line towards me. <laughs> that puts them at a disadvantage. some of these, ooh, just out of range. Yeah, no, they're coming in, they are coming in. Sweet. See, she's getting hammered. I mean, absolutely hammered. But she's got a decent repper on. Could have gone one better, decent, you know, with the repper. But they're just, they're just how much do you spend on a ship? Before you get the money back, you've spent on it. I mean, the more you spend, obviously, the longer it'll take. I mean, this is this ship has paid for itself ten times over more, maybe more. And it's a it's a great little ship. You know, I know a lot of people use um, golems and marauders. Oh, they use marauders for level four. So that's fine. I like I like to mix up a bit. I like to have a bit of. Um, Bit of a challenge. I know it's not much with this Tango. She she is just an amazing ship. She's cap stable, repper, and um, in fact, I even got the afterburner on. She's cap stable with both these running, and her power is her delivery of power is amazing. I mean, you look at that when she hits these. Well, you look at her, uh, there you go, DPS 11, um, 1,158 DPS. That's bloody, that's, that hits hard. And it's, does it wrecks these, absolutely wrecks them. He's dead already. Okay. We'll just keep locking it. We'll have to go closer to these. But we'll just... Those in range, we'll just... Uh, 
We'll pop them. I mean, when I first started, there's no way I could have done this. I mean, for a start, my character's... Anita's now at 130 million, I think. Maybe 140. Foz is at 180 million. Um, <laughs> initially, I mean, she is pure Kaldari. Everything she's got is Kaldari. There is a bit of Galenti in there. Because um, she does fly Galenti um, Dreadnought. But um, purely, when I first started this character, I just wanted her Galenti. And that's what I concentrated on. All missiles. She's got perfect missile skills. You know, the very long range. Um, sniping skills in a raven or a navy raven. A module has run out of charges. I might put her in a golem, just see what she does in a golem. I mean, I see them, I see them outside the station doing, they're doing level fours. A lot of people like their, uh, the golems. All right, let's just finish these off. Yeah, I might look at a golem. Sort of mix it up a bit. I think there is four rooms. I think there is. I'm just going to go full screen on this, guys. No, I can't. God almighty. I'm going to have to go window mode until I sort this out. It's changed. I've just added a new, some new monitors. And it's just... Um, I've switched everything over. But I'm just going to have to redo them. Okay. Uh, I need to get to those. So we'll burn towards these two. Be nice if the rats actually drop drones as well, make it more realistic. But they never do. I don't know what they I don't know what CCP's thinking is on that. But uh, they've never dropped drones. Right, let's just move to that one. Christ, that's so noisy. That so basic. Okay, we're in range now. So I've got a range of 40, 44 uh, on the uh, on the rage, seventy nine on the javelin. But your DPS is halved with the javelin. But of course you've got the range. I'll only use them if I really, really have to the, the javelins. Just gonna go back and orbit that now because she'll be she's dead now. She's gone already. So let's burn back to the gate. Let's reload the uh, magazine. And we can go already. We're good. Orb drive active. We're good. Sweet. Yeah, so it's just hunt down the enemy fleet and destroy them. That's all it is. I'm sure we can do that. I'm going to orbit the gate at 1000. We've got one in range. Obviously, we'll get spawns. There'll be respawns. As we... I don't like to lock everything because the, the set, I think the second spawn or third, there's some lights and you need to dispose of them very quickly. First thing you've got to do, guys, always go for your lights. They're the little scrumming swines. I do love the skin on these. Awesome. Pop. There's another spawn. We'll 
we'll take him out. I look these up that are just under 44. <laughs> they will get closer. Let's quickly get oh he's just gonna go out of range. I'm just gonna have to move in on him. Him. That should take me past all of these. He's the jammer, so obviously he's primary. Don't know if any of you guys know uh, about quick locking something. They hold your left control button down and then just le just left click your mouse it automatically locks out whatever you're clicking on in your overview. It's just a little bit quicker. I mean you can hold it down and go like that and get everything but you end up locking rocks and stations and everything else. <laughs> but um, I've always done that, it's quick enough to do that for me. Just lost one of my screens. It's not good. God damn it. One of the screens has just gone black. I think I might have kicked something underneath the uh, computer table. Scorpion about to go down. Boom. Do like the scorpion. Well, I like the look of it. Never really been a favourite to use. Um, I think the last one I had it was a top. Had it as a, a top scorpion. A topian. <laughs> a module has run out of charges. Blimey. He certainly burned through. I mean, the missile, the heavy assault missile launchers, I've got six of those, Caldari Navy. They hold 77 in, a mag in the magazine. If you were just on Tech 2, it'd only be 66, and I burned through 77 like there's no tomorrow. So I do, I, I've only just recently changed that from Tech 2 to uh, the Caldari Navy. I thought I'd treat, thought I'd treat her, she's earning me enough money. There's a few more, let's make our way to him. See which way he's going, she's going. Okay. And he's about to go. Boom. I mean, once this, once she gets into structure, it's just two, two rounds and boom, gone. Oh no, fifty-four away. Let's go for that one at twenty-one. going the other way so we need to kill him quickly. I need to approach this one. Keep these, kill these before they go out of range. Okay. Yeah, boom. That's only a keeler, that one, so that one. Glad they're both keelers, so they'll die quickly. Let's get to this one. I'm gonna have to just go back for this one. 
because I'm just coming out of range now. Yeah. Come on, in range. Okay. the other now. The scorpion will die before we go out of range. There you go. Sweet. Oh, that, that was 11 million. That's not bad. Used to a lot more in null sec, but uh, that's not bad for Empire. Obviously, the quicker you burn through these missions, the the bigger your uh, your tick is going to be. I should have bloody should have reloaded while I was getting into range. There's no way I'm going to kill him with seven. He says. running away though okay reloaded a nice fast reload as well there you go sweet Try to remember how many rooms. This is it. So there's only I've just done three of them. Okay, let's burn towards them. Um, now I'm just going to orbit that. At five, we'll lock the tiddlers. I know they're uh, distance away right now. They will, they'll burn fast towards us. Obviously, priority are these two little ones. No, this one little one. These are, these just die in one, one salvo. Let's kill the gealers, they're in range. He's in range. He'll be burning straight towards us. Actually, he hasn't aggro, so no, he won't. Oh, he has now. So he will be tear assing towards us. Uh, so he's no transversal, so he dies quickly, which is good. We need to get rid of this one. Get rid of that one. He's jamming us, trying to. Sweet. You just need one salvo to take these out, guys. Just one round. Oh. Just turn it back on. Wasting bloody ammo on that now. Okay. Now they're big boys. You look at the bounties here, they're not much. I mean, 881,000 is not bad. I'm sure there used to be a lot less when I was in Empire last. Sweet. 
Oh, little ones. We need to get them locked up. As soon as we pop this big one, we'll go for them because they're right on top of us now. And we're getting jammed as well. Like that. Okay. <clears throat> They'll start scramming and webbing pretty soon. cycles so always keep trying to lock them as you come into the end of his cycle there you go look he's lost he's lost jam on us so that enables us to lock him up again he'll be dead he's dead he just doesn't realize it yet there you go another spawn more lights jesus no on that one So straight away I'm being scrammed and webbed by new ones. Okay. Sometimes I'll break down the uh, the launchers into separate launchers, but um, with these lights you've got to have them all on at the same time because it does take. Once they've got their transversal, it does make it a lot. Harder, you still kill him, of course, but just that bit that little bit more uh, difficult, but still kill him nonetheless. Sweet. Double web, double scrammed. And just look at her. The hard is working. She's not even broken into a sweat. I don't know if any of you guys remember when uh, Worlds Collide mission used to be used to be a lot harder than what it is now. A lot harder. That was the mission that you had to go in with, uh, you know, with with friend, with colleagues, with buddies. Uh, you know, like logistic ships and plenty of DPS ships. <clears throat> but now I can do that in this, no problem. Just do it with the Tango. If you have a look, guys, I put the fit. One of the lads asked, um, one of the viewers asked for a, a fit for this. So there is a fit for this Tango in the last video I did. That's, so that's worth looking at. Oh. Obviously you change the hardness and change the ammo type to, to the relevant um, but I, f I don't know if you've seen that. Let me have a look. Uh, the mission reports. Really good. I'll just let you have a look at that. Two sex. That's the mission report. It is so worth looking at. I mean, we're doing. What we doing? We're doing um, uh, pirate slaughter. So pirate slaughter. What have they done with that now, Jesus? I think 
I've just pushed. God almighty. Uh, never mind. Pirate Slaughter, but that is where you will find your missions. It's a brilliant little tool. Uh, it gives you a breakdown of, um, of the mission, what ammo to use, what harness to use, what the enemy deals damage-wise. And, uh, oh, brilliant. Right, we've got rid of the last little bugger. I don't know what I'm doing now. I don't know where I put that. It's gone below the bar somewhere, taskbar. You fool, fuzzy. Okay, just a load of gealers to kill. Oh, and a big one there. Didn't see him. I wish they'd do something about this. Basic, it's so basic. It's like, it's kind of hurts your ears after a while. Let's move to him, he's going to be out of range if I don't. In fact, let's move to the big boy. Huh? Doink. No, why have I locked him? Not in range yet. <laughs> Come on. I do like the Keelers. They're lovely. They're a lovely looking ship. My Keelers are pretty, pretty decent. Fuzzy, well, they need to can fly them. But Fuzzy uh, flies them normally. Uh, I've done past missions, guys. On some, I've done some videos with the Gila, with the Raven. Right, gonna have a look at those. And of course, um, as you've seen, some of you have seen the first mission I did was the Nomic team. Brilliant. In the Gamma, took us what ten minutes. And it's like 13,000 loyalty points, just under. And about five and a half million for doing, really, just killing three little ships. Ooh. Right, we've completed it, but we may as well kill this for the 881,000. <laughs> Sweet. Right, let's go back to station. Boom. Well, how do you get that bloody thing up now? Another. You know. It's not bad, 8,656 loyalty points. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay. We've completed it. Thank you. So now I've got 540,000 loyalty points. Holy cow. And I've spent a dollar for those. I bought, um, I bought some implants and I sold them. But anyway, 540,000. I think 600,000 I can get. So a Navy Raven. 
So I might, once I'm there, I might buy that and uh, fit it out. Or a Navy Drake. Ooh. That'd be worth uh, looking at. Oh, is that? Oh, Griffin. Let's have a look at the... Yeah, the implant's awesome. But, yeah, so 600,000 loyalty points. Plus... Uh, I don't think I've got one of those. Uh, are they on the market? 7.9 million. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right, let's request another mission. Oh, can't go delivery. You can always tell. I mean, look at the loyalty points. Not brilliant, but we'll do it. We'll do it. So we have to... Uh, San, this is Sancho. No, Serpentis. That's fine. Uh, kinetic and Thermal again, so we don't need to change any of our fit. So let's acquire them. Okay. Right, so locations next door in Ruvis. As we are, we'll undock. <clears throat> and we'll fly to next door. Garistas hate me. Do, 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 do. Come on. I was looking at that skin Fozzie has on his Tengu, or, or had on his Tengu. And it's all black with a few red stripes on the wings and around it. It looks really good. I, mean, I don't mind this one on it, but... And it's not expensive. I think it's only about... Well, I didn't buy it. My mate bought, bought me it for Fozzy. Uh, I think he paid about 400 million for it, something like that. But, um... In fact, let's have a quick look. I think that's what we were going to... That's the one, Nightfire. Now be it'll be for sale in uh, it'll be for sale in um, Cheetah. I'll have a look later. I've got some characters uh, in Cheetah. Okay, let's uh, make our way to the warehouse. That's our. That's our objective there, guys, the warehouse. And of course, we have to uh, entertain these lovely Galenti. Oh, the Galenti. No, the Serpent. The Serpenti, but the Galenti ships. Some missions where there's no bounties, uh, but they do drop 
things like, uh, you know, insignia. Now, insignias are very much wanted by people, so I would definitely recommend salvaging. DPS coming in. Not nothing she can't handle, but yeah. That's a tick there, six million. Not bad really. The last one was eleven. No. There you go, eleven. That was sweet. That's not bad. For Empire, it's not bad. <laughs> Need to just draw, just draw them in a bit. I mean, they're in range, but some are just pushing the limit. A module has run out of charges. Like. That one, 1.1 million for that one. Excellent. Excellent. Sweet. It's a shame that's not June Connell. It's a shame it's not an officer. <laughs> My God. The amount of officers I've killed over the past couple of years was just bonkers. And the amount of money... God. Tell you what guys, that is where it is. That's where the money is. Mining Moons are doing... Doing officer... Well, finding officer spawns and doing them. You don't know where they're going to be, of course, but... My God. Like I've said it before, but I think I'm on 20... I think it's 21, 22 officers killed. And the loot that was dropped. Oh, you plonker. I'm trying to shoot this one. I haven't even put my computer on, so I've been wasting ammo. He was in range. I'm thinking, why is he not dying? will go down pretty quickly. I remember when I got my very first thorax. I thought, thought I was ace. I thought I was the bees. It was the bees knees. I like the look of the thorax. It's a bit lopsided, but you know. I mean, this isn't a thorax. It'll be a, it's a it's a a faction version of it. <laughs> And I got the Tech 2 version of it, my first the Deimos. <laughs> yeah, that didn't last long either. I'd only had it about a day. And we went PvP in and uh, I lost my thorax. <laughs> and my Deimos. Good. I was gutted. It cost me all the money I had. That's one day. Uh, Dominic's less. I might have to uh, go to his wreck, see if he's dropped anything juicy. You never know. Come on. Need these in range. Quick. Oh, he 
he's dead. He's dead. Let's just get to him. Boom, 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 boom. Right, let's go to big boy. Absolutely mashed up. We may as well hit this one while we're on our way to that one. It's a bit poor in it, nothing in the ranks. Over the years, CCP have done so much with, you know, like loot and things. They've reduced, 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 you know. And it's nowhere near as lucrative to do. Anything really. Except for I said it before, except for Nullsec, where where this where the money is. Right, let's get this killed. And you are dead, you just don't know it yet. Should be complete. Oh. It will be when we get back. Let's go back. Dead nothing nothing here, so we're good to go. Another, uh, another mission done. Not a ravey navy. <laughs> mm. 
there you go. Column. Oh yeah, Dominic's Navy issue. I've done a few missions in that. Very, uh, have a look at that, guys. I've done Docking quite a few with that requested. one. Docking request accepted. Okay, so we've completed the mission. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, like and subscribe, please. It does help the channel if uh, if you like what you see. Um, I'll do more. But for now, have a great weekend, and I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.